Hey there Aries, this is Renee and welcome to your reading. Uh, this, we're going to take a look at the next 40 hours and this is going to be a general reading so we're going to cover love and everything in between, okay? So let's get some of your energy. Uh, first I want to get a, let's see, I'll do the romantic tarot see what's going on for Aries. Let's get some romantic tarot. Okay, and now if this reading resonates, which all of my readings may not, but if this reading resonates, like and subscribe, please, please, and thank you. I appreciate all of your support. Okay, and a card. Let's see, we have Guardian of Abundance. This is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in the situation. This is a powerful person with great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you or this could be someone that you are dealing with. Okay, let's go ahead and get this and focus a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Much better. Okay, so let's get another card. Let's get another card for your energy. What's going on with Aries? Okay, so we have the Guardian of Abundance and we have Go Within. You are a very intuitive person and there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you. Take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation or prayer. There's no need to take action right now. Be patient with yourself. OK, so and I feel like, you know, you have some kind of abundance coming in for you. This is also asking you to take some kind of inner introspection, introspection. There you go. I'm sorry. <laughs> I have been up all night and I can't speak now. It's just that's just the way it is. OK, and um, OK, let's go ahead and get some more cards for you. What is going on with love for Aries? Put these deck back. Okay, let's get some love messages for Aries. What's going on with love? I do feel like with that guardian abundance, I feel like there's something coming in for you. There's some kind of promotion, some kind of increase. You may have been out of work, maybe looking for work. I feel like, you know, there's a big opportunity that's awaiting you in the next 48 hours, okay? I feel like there's going to be some word coming in for you, okay? We have ascension. Yeah, look at this. We have growth, you know, transcending any obstacles, any challenges, you know, expanding. This is a new phase that you're going through, and you may be preparing to meet someone, meet someone new, okay? Look at this. We also have love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. What did I tell you? There's someone new coming in your life within the next 48 hours. I feel like someone's coming through for you. You're going to meet this person. Um, I believe it's it's certain actions that you're taking that are bringing this person forward. OK. Um, so don't be fearful. Be open to what is coming because abundance is in your forecast the next 48 hours. You're going to have some kind of increase, okay? The only thing is, in order to achieve this increase, Aries, you want to change your mindset. Have a more positive mindset. Manifest exactly what you want. And be grateful for the little things, you know? Be grateful for the things that you already have and already have accepted into your life, okay? Because the universe, the universe thrives on gratitude, on being thankful, and also manifesting, seeing in your mind's eye exactly the way you want things, 
okay? So we're going to get a message. Let's get a message from this person that may be coming forward for you. Let's get a message. I bury myself in work to forget about you. Wow. So someone already has their eye on you, Aries. Someone already has their eye on you. They've been looking at you for a while. Um, this may be someone at work, someone who you work with. And I feel like they try to stay busy. They try to kind of work around you. But I feel like you're a big distraction. You know, and I feel like you may notice someone who um, is being very distracted about the things that you do. Someone who's really taking notice. Um, someone who's trying to hide. I hide who I really am from you. You know, so I feel like this person isn't ready to come forward yet. This person isn't ready to really show you their true feelings. Okay, so they're kind of hiding. You have a secret admirer. You know, so this is this is very interesting here. Okay, so many things remind me of you. This person is really smitten. They're really, they're really hung over on you, Aries. I feel like they they kind of see you as someone who is very mysterious. Maybe uh, very secretive, you know. I, I feel like they want to get you know get to know you better, but I feel like they're kind of scared to step forward. They're scared to show you how they feel. They they feel like you may kind of refuse them or reject them in some way. Okay, let's go ahead and get a little bit of tarot for Aries. Let's see. Do we have, let's see, we have two cards. Yeah, we have the devil and we have the seven of wands. This person would fight for you. I feel like this person would go to battle for you, okay? Um, this is someone who sees you as someone who has overcome great obstacles and challenges. They see you as you know, winning the fight here, okay? But I feel like this is someone who would truly stand up for you, stand up for your cause, okay? This is someone who may have defended you in some sort of discussion or some sort of situation, but I feel like this is someone who wants to fight for you, okay? They, they feel like, you know, you are the one that they want to put all of this energy into. That's what I'm getting. Look at this, yeah. They wanna fight for you, Aries. They wanna make something happen. They feel like you're the one. That's what I was feeling. They feel like you are the one. You're the one that's going to bring them a lot of happiness, a lot of joy, a lot of satisfaction. They're willing to work to impress you okay they're they're willing to kind of go out of the way to impress you to be recognized by you okay they're willing to do the work put in the time and kind of reap the rewards of putting in that extra time to win your affection. But I feel like this is someone who who really, really cares about you, but they're afraid to step forward. They're afraid that you're going to reject them for some reason, okay? So I, I feel like this is someone who really wants to be recognized. They really want you to make a choice to maybe make the first move because I feel like they're waiting for some sort of sign for you to give them in order to, you know, move closer to you in order to um, kind of make a plan. Okay. I, I feel like they're, they're trying very hard to get your attention. 
Look at this. I bury myself in work to forget about you. I hide who I really am from you. So many things remind me of you. You, I mean, it's all about you. It's all about you. The, you're what they think about. You are what they are envisioning themselves with. Okay? Um, I feel like, you know, they're, they're very interested in trying to get to know you. Trying to be able to get up the nerve to show, show you who they really are. You know, they're trying to gain your attention. Okay, let's get let's get some more messages. Let's see. Now these are handwritten cards, but we're gonna get some messages from these. See what else is going on with this person that's coming in for Aries. Okay. Let's see. Message for Aries, please. Who's coming in for Aries? Who is this person? Okay. Let's see these. We have, you're so close to a win right now. This person wants to win your heart. I want to come home. This may be someone, for some of you, this may be someone who's trying to come back. Someone who, maybe you, really got into some type of drama with and now they they want to come back into the situation they want um to feel how you made them feel again you make me happy okay but we do have protect your energy hmm what is that about aries have courage Big blessings are coming. Huh. Okay. So I get this. You need more information before you go forward. Okay. So for some of you, Aries, I feel like this is saying to you that there's someone who wants to come back into the picture. There's someone who may not have did, done you right in the beginning, but now they're willing to fight for the situation. But I, I feel like Spirit is letting you know that, you know, maybe this person... Um, maybe they may be all talk, okay? But to protect your energy, see how, if, if you are willing to see how things are going, protect your energy, see how this person reacts to your situation. And, you know, take it from there. Now, I'm not saying that this person is all wrong for you. Um, because we do have someone from a past life, you know? So I, I feel like, you know, it may be someone that you were done with at one point, but, um, oh my goodness, you're being called to have faith in your situation. Someone misses you and needs to see you very badly. Hmm. And I need to tell you the truth. There's someone who really needs to speak with you. Someone needs to give you a message. They need to tell you exactly how they feel. Okay? I'm going to get another deck. Let's get another deck and see what this is about. Spirit, tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person, this energy that's coming through. Who is this energy that's coming through for Aries? Who is this person that wants to come back? Give me more of a message, please. Because I feel this is another energy than, than the one that was coming through before. This is totally different. Yeah, this is someone who done you wrong. This is someone who hurt you. And now they're coming back. They want you to forgive them. They want you to see them in a different light. But then we have this uh, Ten of Cups in reverse. So I feel like there's, there's something that this person did that... They feel like you're not going to forgive them. They feel like there's no happiness involved in the situation because they did you wrong. And, you know, they're looking for forgiveness. They feel like you're not going to give that forgiveness. You're not going to forgive them for whatever it is they did. And I feel like this person is so sad in this situation. They, I mean, they're, they're heartbroken here. 
They're, they can't find their happiness because you're not in it. And I feel like they, it took them time to see that Aries. I feel like, you know, they didn't really feel the effects until they had to leave or until you made them leave. Okay. But I feel like this person can't be happy without you. They just can't find their happiness at all. Okay. Let's see. When will this person come forward for Aries? When will this person come forward for Aries? Give me a message. Sometimes these will give you a timeline or a yes or no question. Give me a message for Aries, please. When would this person come forward? When would this person come forward, please? This person definitely wants forgiveness. They want you to forgive them. And it'll be within the next few months. Within the next few months, this person is going to really try to make themselves be known again. Um, they're going to come back. But Spirit is saying you may want to let go. You may not want to get back into this, this situation. Look at this. We have this for a second time. Get more information. Yeah, there's someone who wants to come back, but Aries Spirit is letting you know that this, this may not be a good option for you. I feel like the Spirit is letting you know that the best option is the first energy that was coming through. The one who would be willing to fight for you. The one who wants to be there for you. You know? Because I feel like this person is, you know, out to take advantage of you. You know? I feel like they have the energy of, like, not really wanting to do right. See. Let's get more messages. Tell me, tell me about this situation. Tell me more about this situation, Spirit. Give me more messages. Okay. The Page of Wands. The Strength card. And the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you're happier. You feel happier and stronger on your own. Yeah. Look at that. The Ace of Cups. You, you're providing this blessing to yourself. You feel happier and stronger by yourself. You know, creating your own independence. Creating your own picture. Not, you know, having to seek permission from anyone and I don't know why I'm getting that seeking permission maybe in this situation you had to ask somebody if it was okay for you to do certain things okay but I feel like you know you finally gotten your independence and you feel stronger and wiser and more capable. You're able to take more action. You're able to find your happiness. Be more happy in your situation. Find more excitement with, without this person. Okay? Very interesting. Spirit, tell me, tell me more about this first person. Tell me more about this first person. This first energy that's coming in. Tell me about this first person. Look at this. We have the Page of Wands again. And the King of Pentacles. And the, the Chariot. Oh my goodness. This first person is very exciting. Very enthusiastic. This person has their, has their stuff together. I was going to say something else. <laughs> this person has their stuff together. Okay, This person who's coming through at the beginning of the reading has their stuff together. They're more stable. They're, you know, more loyal. They're not going to cheat on you. You know, they're, they're looking to move forward. I feel like they're moving in the same direction you are. Okay? Uh, but I feel like this person is very wise, very generous, very giving. Okay? And I feel like this person that's coming forward is moving in your direction. 
they like may have the same intentions, the same goals, the, the same achievements, the same likes or dislikes. But I feel like this person is, is very exciting, very action oriented. And I feel like this person is, you know, he's like waiting for you to say something. He's waiting for you to tell them, you know, and I'm saying he because that's how I'm viewing the cards. This could be a he or a she, you know, take it how it resonates. But I'm, I'm saying that, you know, he's waiting for you to say something because he's listening very clearly you know look how he's listening to these birds here he's waiting for you to say something so that he can act so he that he can take action so i feel like he's waiting for you to make the first move okay he's waiting for you to show some kind of interest that let him let lets him know that Hey, you know, I may be interested. Let, let's see where this takes us. Okay, so that's very interesting, Aries. Um, let's go ahead and get... Let's get an Oracle card. Let's see where you're at. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and take your angel numbers. Okay, so see, we have Cosmic Gateway. Okay, your thoughts are magnetic and powerful. Miraculous changes are occurring. So I feel like within the next next 48 hours, there's some changes that are going to be happening. There's a lot of changes, and I feel like you're more, you are more powerful than you know, Aries. Because I feel like you have the power to accept or deny anything that you feel the need to. Okay? You are the emperor energy and you have control of the situation. And you actually, you really do have control of the situation because this person is waiting for you to make some, si some sort of sign, some sort of signal to let them know it's, it's safe to move on. Okay? It's safe to move forward with you. It's safe to, you know, kind of see where this situation is going. Okay, so let's get an angel number. What do we have for Aries? Okay, we have 222, two, two. balance. Now is the time to take inventory of your feelings. Are there any feelings of imbalance or resistance? Divine whispers are here to remind you that the alignment that you seek also seeks you. Breathe, rest, and reset. Okay, okay, Aries, your affirmation, what feels peaceful and calm easily finds me as I restore the balance within me. Okay, and I feel like that may be the reason why we see this, this card going within, you know, you recall this card that we pulled at the beginning, you are very intuitive person there are many wonderful insights that lie waiting inside you take time to be quiet and reflect upon the desires of your heart through meditation and prayer there's no need to take action right now be patient with yourself okay the number two look at this two 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 and then the number two Okay, so I, I feel like spirit is really letting you know to be balanced in this situation. Seek balance and alignment and everything's going to flow the way it's supposed to flow. Okay, so this is what's going on in the next 48 hours, Aries. So if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Also, if it doesn't resonate, take a look at your other placements. They may be... Um, they may be uh, giving you more messages at this moment. And uh, also, until your next reading, Aries, many, many blessings, love, and light.